Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode one of Life After Lasso. As you know, my name's Corky. We're running a Football Manager 2023 simulation with AFC Richmond. We've created a custom database for the AFC Richmond team. Uh, we actually have two versions of it. You can download both versions in the links in the description below. Uh, one version has Ted Lasso, so you can play if you prefer against, against AFC Richmond and Ted Lasso. Um, if you choose a different team or you can play as um, the AFC Richmond manager himself and get Ted Lasso sacked, it's entirely up yourself. Um, there is a second version without Ted Lasso so if you do wish to take over AFC Richmond and create your own Ted Lasso character you can do that as well, very simple, very straightforward. So we're starting this new save, we're playing it with the Ted Lasso version, um, we have obviously taken the job, we've cost Ted his job so we have, so he has moved into unemployment for now um, what we're doing uh, just a quick bit of housekeeping we are starting this game as mentioned with the, the database which is updated until the end of season two so it does include all the players that appear in the first two seasons season three is just about to be released on Apple TV so we don't have the information but there will be a new database version updated with any new players and any new staff that appear in the series we are also disabling the first transfer window. We want to play this. We're, we're trying to build this team out whilst retaining as many of the Richmond players as we possibly can from the get-go. We don't want to sell any players if we don't have to. We don't really want to buy any new players in. We're going to try and win it with the, basically with the squad we have. And we're going to run this for three seasons in total as well. Simple reason being the Ted Lasso TV show runs for three seasons also so what we're going to do is we're going to jump in because we've disabled the first transfer window i'm just going to skip forward in time we're going to get to the first game of the season we'll hire all the staff and everything in the meantime and we will get stuck into it so we will be straight back in just a second <clears throat> so we've skipped through most of the preseason. We've played a few preseason friendlies, as you can see, some of them didn't quite go so well. We have um, decided pretty much on our first team. We've also selected our first tactic as well. The tactic we're using is um, one that we used in our tactics testing series. Um, so it's proved to be be very good for us. We're going to try it out for a little bit. We do have a couple of backups on the go as well, ready to come in in case this one doesn't uh, perform as we're expecting. We have, as mentioned, we've added in all the players from the first team from the first two seasons of Ted Lasso. We have also added in some youth players as well. Um, you may notice there are some players that um. There, there might be some names that you might be familiar with. I'm not going to point out to anybody in particular. You can have a nosy through it yourself and see. Um, we did put out a short survey if anybody wanted their name included. So thank you to everybody who replied to that. Very much appreciated. Uh, you have been included in the game in the position you preferred. Uh, so on and so forth. So as we mentioned, we've skipped right through to the first game of the season. We are playing the first game of the season. It is the Friday night game. It is the first kickoff. It is the derby as well playing against crystal palace who are our biggest rivals um as we'll see here rivalries we have crystal palace obviously a local rivalry um as you can see there captain is isaac mcadoo our key player this year could be tyler shannon and we have a hot prospect of harry sure 15 year old center back um coming through the youth rankings as well so as you can see we've got the manager's position there as well sam obisanya is vice captain um, as you know, the home stadium is, um, it's, it's Selhurst Park is, is what it is really. Um, so we've got our home games there. This is a, a home game against Crystal Palace. It is the Derby. Looking at the squad very quickly, we have McAdoo is not fully fit. He needs a fitness test. Montlar is carrying an injury. Jamie Tart isn't fully fit. Uh, Babo Tonde is not fully fit. Reynolds, we have a few players there that aren't quite match fit. But do you know what? We don't even have time for that. We're just going to get stuck straight into the game. So we'll play through this first game and then we will uh, fast forward. We'll play the rest of the games for this month and we'll show you the goals at the end of that as well. So the team we're starting off with, we're going to go with Thierry Zorro at, in goal. We'll play Sam Obisani at right back, Jan Mas and Tommy Winchester at centre back. 
Jeff Goodman at left back. We've got Dawkins in that um, uh, deep line playmaker, that defensive midfield position. We've got Tyler Shannon and Bomber Catch playing in the two seven midfielders. And we have Colin Hughes wide left. We have Kukoc playing wide right. And Danny Rojas starting up front for us as well. As mentioned, we, we do have a strong bench there as well. Um, Robbie Roberts is the only one perhaps we might bring in. We'll leave him for now. We have McCracken, we have Coburn, but we've got Crondy on, on the bench as well. So first game of the season, first game of our tenure. Let's get stuck in it and see how we go. The lads are lacking match sharpness. Yes, that is correct. Um, Kukoc is offended by something there. I, I, I didn't even see what that was. Um, so my coach beer is mentioned as you may notice um in the download um for the database we've also included the full set of 3d and 2d kits for um both the or for all three of the home away uh, for church as well um we do also have uh the club logo in there um i am using an alternative version i'm using an alternative version of premier league um logos so i'm using an alternative version which is also included as well um, we want to tell the lads um come on everyone i know we all want to beat our rivals i know I, you all want to beat it as much as the rivals as much as i do so yeah that's fair enough um so here comes the teams that you want to skip through this let's just get into the game itself so kicking off here let's just see, let's turn this up a little bit so, uh, let's change this down to key highlights i'm going to turn the speed up a little bit i'm going to set the key on the side line and Dr. Kenny for the place is fun. Um, so yeah, we're running at a good speed here, so uh, we're keeping the ball pretty well here. Uh, once we're still playing the ball in the dock, and there's a lovely ball forward in the space where Goodman's making that over up, plays the ball across, gets straight down the throat of Johnson, couldn't get, Dan Rojas couldn't get on the end of that, so a good start, but that's fine, that's okay, we're, we're happy with that. <coughs> Let's see Ward here with a shot from the edge of the box and a screwed already. This is not a good start to our tenure. Um, indeed. Uh, he is up a little bit here. Ball four from Eze. Ward still marked. Takes it. He's actually having the outside. He's pulled up inside near post past Zoro, which is very disappointing. Eight minutes into our game as the AFC was made. Eze with a ball in the back post, cleared by Peter Shannon. He's back to Eze, he's looking to get the ball across. Once he has to close, Zaha with a shot and This is a bit of a disastrous start already. Um, you see the ball comes here, back to Eze. Plays across, once he has to close it, comes back to Eze, heads it on to Zaha. It's a, an inside volley. As he's turning, that's an incredible finish. That's a, a real difficult finish. Um, so, yeah, fair play then. We might need to see him so we're 2 0 down inside the first 20 minutes. And we're just giving the ball away here in the field. That was a thunder catch, maybe. I'm not even sure. Um, great, the team. We are setting an attack on the tally. We're not really seeing that down. Lovely ball forward. Rojas is on, and that's a terrible effort. Great ball forward. From Goodman in the space. I think we have some offside there. Um, let's change this down to a positive mentality. Ball goes ahead of the from the normal stage of the box, really. And almost scored from there. Um, that's disappointing. We really need to uh, pull the other here, lads. Um, let's demand some more. That's the wrong button. Let's demand more. In the corner here coming in from Shannon. Colin Hughes is up. He's put a hole in that one. First real set of goal we've had. Uh, Jordan I use carrying injury. Maybe we could take advantage of Yamas is playing really poorly. Kukoc's playing really poorly. Uh, Colin Hughes, Danny Rojas playing poorly. It's, it's, it's poor around. Sam is the only one playing. And Tyler Shannon. No, that's playing decent. Good one. Let's get that. What's that? That's not even a free kick ref. He's going to get a booking for that. It's for nothing. He's going to get a red card. Two footed lunge. Uh, am I mistaken? Was he on his feet when that happened? I don't remember seeing him sliding. Uh, well, that's disappointing. We don't really have a, a, a capable left back. In fact, we don't have a left back at all. Paul Reynolds play on the left. No. Kenyan Mass. Not really. Sam Obasanya can't play there. Tommy Winchester can't play there. 
Alright, we're gonna change this up. We're gonna go we're gonna go with a chaos hammer. Um let's bring him back into here. Um I don't know what you take out here. But my cats was playing okay actually. Dawkins or Shannon. Dawkins is playing the worst of the two, so we'll take Dawkins out. We're gonna have to put Arlo and the left back. He's, he's it's not an ideal situation. He is not left footed at all. Um but he's gotta go on. We need a full back, he's the only full back we have on the way. We're already gonna have to start looking at some of our reserve players. See if our any, any of our youngsters are left backs. Great ball from Hughes and the Danny Rojas who pulls a ball back. Straight away. That's a good response to the red card as well. Lovely ball from Zoro. Is it wide? One touch, two touch. Lovely ball from Hughes. Plays it inside full back. Danny Rojas gets in, beats his man. It's a two red. It's a good response. That's what we want to see. Great time to score as well just before half time. Um, what was that? Get your act together. Good against Barry. Uh, let's tell Goodman that I can't get sent off so early. Appeared to lack belief. Um, I mean, that's reassuring. Thanks for that, Jeff. It's appreciated. Um, <clears throat> but it's alright, we, we've got to go back. Let's um, encourage them a little bit. Um, <clears throat> he's right at me. He's still on the piss despite current injury. Go for the Zaha. I'm gonna toss it around with Sanya. And I've just given a, a short pause in the team. It's not really. Right. This is our rival in the FM 22 game. We lost our first two games of the season. Our third game was against Crystal Pass. It was our first win. It came out 2 0. I remember it well. But this is disappointing. 3 1 down, less than an hour down. 10 men. Um, let's, let's, just, let's just go for it. Let's just go very attacking. Cook coach, you're playing really badly. You need to be hooked. Jan Mas, you're playing really badly. You need to be hooked. Um, thankfully, in uh, FM23, we do have five subs that we can use. So we're going to bring in McCracken or Coburn. Co Coburn is more of a right side player. Um, <clears throat> Colin Hughes is, is doing well for us. He's one of our better players. Tommy Winchester and Jan Mas are both playing poorly. I don't really have the defenders to bring in because McAdoo is carrying an injury. So we'll bring in these two and then we might look to bring Jamie Tartan shortly as well. Build up his match fitness a little bit. Um, Berate them. And then what happens? We've conceded a free kick from the edge of the box. As is going to hit it. And it's goes. 4 1 is embarrassed. And there's still half an hour left to go. Um, <coughs> lovely free kick. Zoro calls himself a new glory. Um, we really should have done better, I think, Zoro. Um, but we will see. 71 minutes. We should be looking to make another change now. I think this just gives the ball straight to just the pass. All over the place here, that's an OG. It's not really an OG, but it's his own target. Jan Mas, you're hooked. Fanny Mas is doing well for us, but don't want to hook him up. Sam or Sam is not playing it, I don't have defenders to bring in. Jimmy Tart. I'm going to bring for Danny Rojas. Football is left. Plenty of time to make an impact. McAdoo's pleased with that. Can we back to Mass? That was Sonia. That was Sonia on the field. What's he got? Can so slow. So slow. Tyler. Taylor. Tyler. Dixon. Dwells on the ball, gives it away. Little world blazes it over there. Thankfully. Ah, uh, but yeah, I mean that's uh, that's a fool. 
Four. Five on four goals. Just difference. Uh, this is embarrassing. So you've got to you got to catch him. You can't just let him run away. Who can we perish him? Six one. Jeffrey slips. <gasps> uh, I mean, the only thing I can take away from this is is uh, Arlo Dixon is doing really well from that back, and he can't go there. Edward just has too much space. Too much space. Shannon's never going to keep up with him. Um, Shannon is one of the better players, but for free kicks, not his. No physicals. McAdoo retrieves the ball. Back to Shannon. Big cross in the box. Can we get a second? What are you doing? You're going far too wide. You're going. Oh. Just, just give the ball away. Number catch. That is very well played. And great ball on the cues. You've got to play it across the box. Don't shoot from there. Jamie Tart gets on. Jamie Tart, first goal. 6 2. Not as bad as 6 1. I suppose. Great ball from uh, Bumbercats over to Hughes. Takes a great first touch. You think there, you've got to cross it. He looks to take a shot down. Sam Johnson makes a really good save. But Jamie Tart gets on with a follow up. Uh, so, yeah. Pleasing to get two goals at least. The Lions would just thump forward in this lap. Uh, close that down, guys. Close it down. We can't make any more subs, can we? Nope. Magadou, that's well defended. Coburn, where you go? Big ball wide right to Hughes again. Hands it back to Dixon. Back to Hughes and the Bender Cats. Back to Lions. Long ball forward to Jim Turk. It's just down. It's quite a good look at Anderson. And the ball is recycled back to him. Pass. Zaha just absolutely loses past the sign it. So that's the game over really. 6 2, there it is. We had 10 shots on, we had 10 shots, 7 on target, and XG in 0.96. 40% possession, 76 pass, percent pass completion. And looking at this, I mean, they were all over straight. They dominated the whole game. We had three spells, three five minute spells of dominance, and it was just, uh, they weren't good enough. I am furious. We made that far too easy for our rivals. A lot of good positive reactions, which is pleasing. Um, but disappointing. Um, Paddy Vieira is obviously delighted, as it should be. Um, okay, Palace go top on the first day. Goodman, uh, confirm you're fine. Don't appeal. Coach Beer was impressed with Eze. Uh, I mean, as we all were, he had a really good game. So, first game of the new season, of the new series, did not go accordingly. Uh, let's get a look at the fixtures for the rest of the month. We have Fulham, then we have Arsenal, we have a League Cup game, we have Brighton, and then Everton. So, some very tough games already for the start of the season. Uh, in the September, we have Wolves, Man United, Southampton. In the October, we have Liverpool, Bournemouth, Forest, Villa, Spurs, West Ham. We play Chelsea, Leicester, Man City, Newcastle all in a row in November. In the October, we do have the World Cup break, of course, to come in that space. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Um, that's it for now. What we're going to do is we're going to fast forward, we're going to play the rest of these games and then we will follow up with the results and the goals from that. So we will be back in just a second. So we have reached the end of the month and it has been less than stellar so far. Um, as you can see from the results, we've played six games, we've lost four, we've drew one, we've won one. So we've got some points on the board at least. It took us a little bit of a while to get into a rhythm. Um, as you can see there, first three games were a disaster. We lost, first of all, 6-2 to Crystal Palace in the opening game. As you've seen in the highlights already, we had Jeff Goodman sent off. We then went on to play Fulham, uh, also a home match. Um, as you'll see there, we lost 5-1. We got another man sent off and Isaac McAdoo we got two yellow cards. We then went to play Arsenal away at the Emirates. We came away from that in a 5-0 defeat. That's 16 goals shipped in three games, uh, scoring only three. We then went into the uh, Carabao Cup 
that second round. We played Bournemouth. We were um, two 0 down. We pulled the goal back. Looked like we're going to maybe get back into it, and then Jamalo scored in injury time to seal our fate. Basically, uh, we then changed things up a little bit in the game against Brighton. Um, we actually got a draw in that game. We took a lead, as you can see there. Solly March scored in the second half. Again, we get a man sent off because we love getting players sent off. So that's three men sent off in a space of five games. We then played. We were in, uh, I think, 18th, maybe 19th position at this stage. Uh, I think we were 18th. We played Everton just there now, um, who were in 19th. We've actually come away with our first points of the season. Jamie Tart scoring a double. But, of course, we had another man sent off. Uh, this time, Declan Coburn for two yellow cards. It seems to be a little bit of a thing we're having with discipline. Uh, we'll show you the goals from the Everton game um, because the other games, it's just not worthwhile sitting through 16 goals in three games just to see three goals of our own. So we'll show the goals from this. The first goal is a very good draw. You see Bumbacats gets some space here. Tart takes a first touch, controls it in this path, hits it on the ball to make it one nil. <coughs> and late in the second half, we see Rojas gets a cut forward. Shots blocked, wins the ball back, plays it back to Jamie Tart on his right foot, falls it into the far corner. So we got our first win on the board. We also got our first points on the board in the, the shape of a draw against Brighton. It has lifted us up to 15th. Uh, a quick look at the a quick look at the past positions there. As you see, we were 19th. We dropped down to bottom after the two games. We get back up to 19th and then we went to play Everton and that win has lifted us up to 15th. So it's uh, as we say, it's it's been a terrible, terrible start to the season. Um, we go into uh, next month of um, September. We play against Wolves in the next game. Who are 16th, so they're just below us. They've they were bottom. They just won their previous game. We then play Man United and Southampton. So it'll be a short month. We might actually take in a couple of games in October as well, just to kind of even the balance in the number of games we see per episode. It will be. Um, an episode per month so it will um so that's how we're getting on so far um as as we say it, it's it's not been a great start um the players haven't been in the best of form obviously um we've uh inserted training uh regimes now as well to try and hopefully improve on some of that as well the, the red cards and the double yellow cards thing um, is a little frustrating. We've had four players sent off in the space of six games. Uh, thankfully, only two of those were double yellows, so they've only missed one game. Um, as we see there, uh, I think it was a Coburn is due to miss the next game against Wolves, but that's okay because we do have players in those positions and hopefully we can get them up and running. So that is it for episode one. Do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we will be back for episode two, where, as, as we say, we will play the three games in September. We might even play a game or two in October as well. Um, but that's it for now. We'll see you in the next episode. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, you can check out one of these recommended videos. And as always, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. It helps us to grow the channel. It helps us to bring you more content like this in the future. In the meantime, I've been Corky. It's been an absolute pleasure. We will see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care.